Ladies and gentlemen, heavyweight action coming to the ring. Please welcome now from Liverpool, David Price. A rapturous reception and a massive smile. Strange twists and turns permeate through this most dramatic of sports. And here is a really unexpected and amazing chance for Liverpool's huge David Price. Once upon a time, he won the Olympic bronze. He had early potential, but it's been blasted away over the last five years with four stoppage defeats. He's flitted in and out of retirement. Until now, this shot out of the blue. It's a big, big ask. But if he could detonate that natural power effectively, maybe, just maybe, he could climb back into this fascinating heavyweight picture, Carl. Well, he's such a nice guy, David Price. I don't speak to anybody that doesn't like him and doesn't get on with him. And he seems to have all the physical attributes. Tony Bellew was saying earlier how big he's punching, how hard he... He looks as strong when he's fighting, but we've not seen it in the professional ring. We've not seen enough of him. Hopefully not a career wasted, because look at the size of this man. And the heavyweight division at the minute is so exciting, it's so fruitful, and he really could step into that mix with a performance here against Povetkin. But Povetkin is in with a massive chance himself, because he's in the AJ mix, the heavyweight mix, and he'll know that coming in here. He's always had the physical size, David Price. Mentally, he struggled. What will happen tonight? And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the champion from Chekhov, Russia, Alexander Povetkin. Once he was a former world kickboxing champion, then a multi-time amateur champion who struck gold in Athens and graduated professionally to become the WBA heavyweight holder and a true threat at the summit of the major division. It hasn't quite worked out since. Vivek in school by Vladimir Klitschko and despite a string of decent wins, failed drug tests have cast a dark shadow. He's also now 38, but he still is in the mandatory position with the WBA and WBO, and he's still a fine fighter, Carl. He is, yeah, very capable, big, strong unit of a man who's, you know, he's been in there with some great opposition. You mentioned the loss against Klitschko there, but that's his only real triple. Yep, and that was when Vladimir was absolutely flying, so no disgrace, of course. Plenty of talent. Povetkin. But as I said, closing in on 40 now. David Price, just 34, seems to be in around forever. A huge height and reach advantage. 18-3-4, not a bad weight for Price, but just under 16 and a half for Povetkin. Strong and solid. Four fights, much more experience, amateur and a pro. Both can punch. But he's a big favourite for Vekin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are live and exclusive on the Principality Stadium, Cardiff, Wales. We're on Sky Sports Box Office and Eddie Hearn's Matchroom Boxing in association with Duco Events. is very proud to bring you 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO International and the vacant WBA Intercontinental Heavyweight Crown. Sponsored by William Hill, Manuka Doctor, StubHub and JD Sports. Sanctioned by the World Boxing Association, Supervisor from Denmark, Jesper Jensen. The World Boxing Organization, Supervisor from Australia, Danny Lee. And the British Boxing Board of Control, Steward in charge from Wales, Mr. Rod Babbitt. At ringside, our three scoring judges from Russia, Yuri Kopsev, from England, Terry O'Connor, and from the USA, Steve Weisfeld.
on the bell, our timekeeper from Wales, Mr. Dave Walters, referee in charge from England, star referee, Mr. Howard Foster. And now, ladies and gentlemen, time to meet the boxers. Firstly, the challenger boxes out of the red corner. He wears red with white and gold. He weighed in 18 stone, three pounds, four ounces. From 26 contests, 22 wins, 18 wins inside the distance, four defeats. Former English champion, British champion, Commonwealth heavyweight champion. Tonight he is the challenger from Liverpool, England, David Bryant. And in the blue corner, wearing the solid black shorts, Hailing from Chekhov in Russia. He weighed in at 16 stone and 5 ounces. From 34 contests, 33 wins, 23 by KO, and only one defeat for two years. He reigned as the WBA heavyweight world champion. He is the former WBA intercontinental and reigning WBO international heavyweight champion. Dami Gospada, he's got in a check of Russia, Alexander Sasha Pomiepke. Say it off, come on. Okay, fellas, both you both in the dressing room, you both now I expect keep it clean, great straight away when told. Both of you watch your heads in close, good luck to you both, touch gloves. Good luck. An extraordinary meeting, a high stakes heavyweight hors d'oeuvre here with an intercontinental strap on the line. Far more important than that, Russian stalwart Alexander Povetkin closing in on another world title tilt. And what of Liverpool's six foot eight, hard hitting but often fragile giant David Price, rank outsider here, but absolutely nothing to lose. Fascinating, Carl. Exactly that, fascinating. We need to see David Price establish that jab early on. He's got the height and reach, such a big advantage in boxing if you use it, utilize it correctly. Right hand from Povetkin. Will he try and catch Price cold? He's been saying that he's just going to have a real watchful look at Price because he knows about that power early from the fists of the very popular Liverpudlian. So many want to see him succeed, and especially because of those failed drug tests of Povetkin as well. Throw that in the mix, but Povetkin's the mandatory for both Anthony Joshua and Joseph Parker's belts. So win this, and he's next in line. That's right, massive opportunity for David Price. Povetkin, as you say, he's got that shadow of the failed drug test behind him, but he's here this evening, legal, legitimate, licensed, and he knows his way around the ring. He's a very good operator, working the body early on, now switching to the head as David Price just sits back and looks to try and get some kind of jab going, but I don't want to see him sitting there for too long in range without letting his shots go, because his body shots start to tell. Pouring with the jab, David Price, not thudding it home, as he did when he was British and Commonwealth champion. He looked like he was going to have the big fights with Tyson Fury. Floored Joshua in sparring. Can he make a dent? on Alexander Povetkin. Remember, Klitschko had him down a few times, but he went the distance, so he's always had a really good chin, Povetkin, but Price can bang. He can bang, and when he throws that jab, I'd like to see him step in behind the jab, then he can throw that big right hand. On his back foot, tentatively throwing that jab, he's not going to work against this man. And does he really believe David Price after everything that's happened to him? He jumped at the chance of this moment. He said, maybe this is the luck after all that's gone wrong that I need. Body shots from Povetkin. Very well schooled and good defence too. Yes, very well schooled and good attitude as well from David Price to take this opportunity. He knows it's a risk. 
but he's got a chance here to really do something in the heavyweight division. Uppercut tried for the first time for a price. Derry Matthews beckoning him on in the corner. And the Smith brothers will be around with their support. Tony Bellew, of course. They'd love the upset win, and that was a good shot from Price. And again, a right hand, and he just hurts Povekin at the end of the first, and he's on shaky legs, the Russian, as he goes back to the corner. Welcome back, Ivan Karpa in the corner there with Alexander Povetkin. What about the end of the round? Did he feel the power there, Povetkin? He looked unsteady as he went back to the blue corner. Yes, Price finishing that round really good. I mean, he stepped him in that left hook on the replay. We didn't see the right hand land, but just after that, he did throw a right land hand that did connect, and we saw the effect of Povetkin. Price has to believe in himself, and he has to throw that right hand down the park, and he can do this. 18 knockouts in 22 wins, most of them quickly for David Price. Povetkin can punch too, though. 23 KOs in his 33 victories down the years. And he's fought at a much higher level. And there's a right hand just squeaking through. Price back behind his jab. Can he utilize that punch? That's a vital punch for a heavyweight, but hand speed there from Povetkin. Good combination, and Price took it. Well, Povetkin sat down at the end of round one. He had that look in his eyes when he was looking at his trainer that, you know, I got hit there and I got caught with a shot. It didn't deter him because he's firing away in this this round and he's had some success. Price just sitting in front of him for too long. Bit of swelling under the right eye of Povetkin. There's the jab from Price. He told us all week he wants to show his skills as well as his power, David Price. He does seem relaxed, doesn't he? He does, and he timed the jab well there, knocking Povetkin off balance as he moved in. And if you can keep that jab sharp, down the pipe. That right eye just a little sore for Povetkin as he thumps in a left hook to the body. He'll be seeking out that air of vulnerability that always comes with David Price. Those two defeats to Tony Thompson. But he's trying to launch that right hand off the jab, Price. Povetkin quite cute to Price's right hand. If you watch when Price throws that right hand, Povetkin catches it with his left hand and just pushes it down out of the way. He's done that a couple of times now, so he's, he's looking for the right hand that Price is throwing, and he's defending well against it. Ripping in the body shots as well, Alexander Povetkin. This strong Russian. Trying to chop the right hand home, Price. That's a good jab. But when Povetkin gets in close, and he throws that dangerous-looking right towards the chin of Price. It's interesting this, isn't it, Carl? Very interesting. It's a very nice, relaxed jab from Price when he uses it. Throws it from nowhere and lands flush on the face of Povetkin. But he just sits there a little bit too long, Price. He's got a good defence, nice high guard, but the body's wide open. And I'm worried that that body shots are sinking in far too easily from Povetkin. Yet will they take their toll on Price? Потому что все равно ищет 
We've seen those eyes before. Tony Bellew, great friends with David Price. They're a, a real, a boxing's a tight fraternity, but in Liverpool they really are, aren't they? Super close. The hell, yes. I mean, Tony Bellew and David Price go back a long way in the amateurs also. Tony Bellew looking there like he wants to get in the ring himself, which I think he would do given half the chance, but that's the passion. He will be five weeks tonight against a certain David Hay, who was with us last week. Alexander Povetkin in the black from Russia and the Liverpool red of the big football fan, David Price. He'll be cheated on by the victory against Palace today. Maybe that's an omen, maybe not. Right hand from Povetkin and it got through. Is the defence tight enough both to head and body of Price? That's better though. The offence is good. Left hook from Price. And he really opened up there. And if this is a shootout, it will get really fascinating, but Povetkin lands a left hook, and David Price is absolutely devastated with himself. He's destroyed, he banged the canvas. The legs are shaky. He was really annoyed. But he went into the pocket, and Povetkin found the shot, and a right hand, and Price has got to cover up, and there's a lot of time in the round. Well, a right... A right hand opened up a corner, but the left eye of Price right before that. And then he was hit with a thunderous right hand. He left himself wide open. He punched the canvas when he landed because he knew it was a silly mistake. But Hurt here just got to hold on there and take the air in. Cut down. But he's got this pride, David Price. And as long as he's in there, he will hope to land one big shot. But Povetkin just upping the tempo. Showing how dangerous he is there, Povetkin landing that looping overhand right, flush on the chin of Price. He's done well to get his legs back together. David Price stopped in the amateurs, and that cut doesn't look great either. And stopped four times in the pros. He looks recovered, his legs are there, but he will still be dazed. He just needs to keep that jab going and maybe move on his back foot, utilize the ring and see this round out. We're into the last minute. Here comes Price with a combination. He's going to go for it now, isn't he? He has to. This is good work. He's fighting fire with fire here. He really is starting to believe in himself. I know he's just been over, but he's got that steely look about him. He's gritting his gum shield and firing back. But Povetkin's still looking dangerous. He wants it so badly, doesn't he, Price? Well, this is the point where it'd be easy for him to shy away if he didn't fancy it, but you can see he still wants this. Well, you can see by that reaction when he was floored by that thunderous punch from Povetkin. Drama here in the heavyweight division, and we haven't even got to the top of the bell. And the left hand from David Price, and Povetkin falls into the neutral corner, and the ropes held him up, and Howard Foster administers the count, but the bell is going to come any second, and does. And what about that for a session? Price down, almost out, but at the end he wobbles Povetkin. Heavyweight boxing is back. What a treat this is, a heavyweight firing contest between these two big lumps. Povetkin landing a phenomenal shot on Price. Price getting off the canvas to then produce a left hook. Not quite a knockdown, saved by the corner, but he got the count. That has to be an even round, surely. Povetkin. There's the left hook from Price into landing. That. Landing flush, stumbling him back, and then his legs deceiving him here as he backs up. One big shot apiece, and the legs haven't recovered. I'm not sure of Alexander Povetkin. And is David Price in a position to be able to cause a stunning upset? Povetkin still hurt here. You see him wobble as he gets off the canvas, but he's still dangerous. What does Price do? Does he go for the finish? Or is he conservative without long jab? If it's me, I'm going for the finish. He surely has to, because... Povetkin will regroup, and as he inches closer, he can find the gaps in that long price body. Just jumping in there, Price. But he looks dazed, doesn't he, Povetkin? He doesn't look quite right. 
He doesn't know, but don't forget, Price was down and hurt. He's badly caught and bruised as well, so he's got to throw caution to the wind, but really get that jab going and just throw that right hand because he knows he can hurt Povetkin. What happens next? Povetkin, I felt, won the first couple. You gave it one each, but really the judges' cards are not going to be needed here. Povetkin just going up a gear there with a fast combination. Price needs to keep them free moving, keep Povetkin busy. Don't sit in front of Povetkin and let him throw his hooks because they're dangerous. And he seems to get through that tight defence. So much energy expended already from the pair of them. And we're only halfway into the fourth round. Yes, both fighters feeling the pace of that last round. And it's, it's almost a matter of who lands first here. It's that hand speed, the combinations of Povetkin that can trouble Price. The cut opened again. There's the jab back, though. You just get the feeling whoever now lands the next big bomb is going to win the fight. That's how it feels here, sat ringside. It's just the edge of your seat stuff now, waiting for somebody to connect with a big shot. If Price needs to just get the jab going, though, and just stay cautious behind that jab and time that right hand. Not far away with that one. Povetkin breathing heavy. Breathing but still working. Price not really getting the jab flowing, just waiting for that opportunity. Really trying to get the leverage into the right. It was the left hook that hurt Povetkin at the end of the third. And he's already showed so much bottle here, David Price, to get up off the canvas. Badly cut, and you're right. He wants this, he's trained so hard for it. Yes, that's right, he said all the right things on the build-up, and he looked, he looked different tonight, he looked confident. He still looks confident. He does, he's looking for that shot. He's taking his time, he's doing the right thing here. Good work. And respect between the pair. Tony Belly's pretty excited, Andy, isn't he? I would say so, yeah. Tony, your reaction to this so far? Maybe you can get your breath back. My reaction is he, he's, doing, he's doing okay so far. David needs to step in. The difference so far is the feet. He's just cut falling that little bit short with the power shot. He's caught Povetkin with half of shot of what he's actually got in the tank. Alexander Povetkin is a fighter who needs to get inside. He's a fighter every single time he, he leans to his left, he's loading for the left hook. David just needs to meet him with the right hand and come back with a counter left hook. David cannot trade left hooks with this guy. You do not hook with a hooker. He's got to just keep it at range and make Alexander pay every single time he takes a step forward. David's got to dictate from centre here. He's the bigger, stronger man. He has to make that work for him going forward. Brilliant. And while Tony was talking, Alexander Povetkin was taking enormous gulps of air in the blue corner. How tired is he? At the start of the fifth, and David Price on the front foot. It would be a mammoth upset, this. If Price can pull it off. Remember, he's been down, Povetkin up on the card, surely, already, but... It's a case of where do we go next with this heavyweight fight? Well, with Povetkin breathing heavy, Price should see what's happening with Povetkin's stamina if he is struggling for it and just try and keep the jab and keep it long let him work but don't let anything through it's been the march of the heavyweights hasn't it the thriller with wilder and ortiz dillian white and lucas brown last weekend bevetkin price here then joshua parker phenomenal times for the big boys and bevetkin with the right hand and a left hook lays out david price the tail's in he won't make it and it is alexander bevetkin that finds the ammunition to end the argument and he will be the one that goes forward to face either Joshua or Parker. But for the moment, another heavy fall in the heavyweight division. We saw it last week with Lucas Brown and the paramedics straight in to tend to David Price. And uh, as we saw last week, excellent work from the brilliant doctors. And Lucas Brown was able to fly back to Australia the next day.
Pride hurt, but healthy and fine. And David Price, it was a heavy fall, wasn't it, after a, a savage heavyweight encounter? Well, it was a big right hand that landed, and David Price was almost knocked out on his feet. Povetkin able to land a free left hook, a big, powerful left hook, which then sent Price stumbling heavy to the canvas. He's conscious, he's on oxygen, it's looking good for him. We have to be cautious. And very good that Alexander Povetkin went straight over to make sure he's all right, and I think he's going to be lifted up onto the stool. David Price, he put everything into that. It was a... An amazing opportunity he had, and he didn't let himself down one little bit. He was, it was touch and go, wasn't it? Yeah, not at all. I'm absolutely devastated for David Price. What a performance. He really did himself proud. He got hurt, he got put down, then he put Povetkin on his back foot and put him down almost saved by the ropes. Yeah, he's, he's on his feet. And he's getting a huge round of applause from the 78,000 in here, David Price. It didn't work out for him. Alexander Povetkin, as most felt beforehand, found a way too strong. But there were moments where he looked tired. And you never know, it could have been Price that landed that shot. But Povetkin is a quality fighter, and he got the job done. He certainly did get the job done, and I think this is how... There's the right hand, Price here, dazed, silly really, arms down. Totally doesn't know where he is, and he gave Alexander Povetkin a free hit. We see here, there's the overhand right. This is where Price now is dazed. This is what you call knocked out on your feet. And then there, the left hook. He didn't even know it was coming. It was a full-blooded left hook. He couldn't get his arms up, could he, to defend himself. The right hand, first of all, and it disorientated him around the temple. The long arms go down, and that is... A free shot for Alexander Povetkin. Quality work from Povetkin, left hook to the body, and then a sneaky overhand right. And Price there, as I said, he was hit with a shot he didn't see coming, and that's the devastating damage and impact with these heavyweights. This is, this is what happens, this is the dark side, but one thing David Price can do... This it... was the third round when Price went down and then he was very animated in... His anger. And he came back so well from this knockdown. Look how angry he is there, thumping he, the canvas. He knew where it was, then he did this. Bomb with a left hook. But it was right at the end of the round, and Povetkin was all over the place. We didn't know whether his legs would recover, but he did. You've got to give him credit here, Alexander Povetkin. It was a crushing finish. You have. You've also got to give David Price credit, because the way he came back from that knockdown, he really meant it, he believed it. But unfortunately for him, it wasn't his night. Heavyweight boxing, you see him one punch can change the tide. But he can go out of this ring this evening with his head held high, he really can. He's done himself proud, but unfortunately, that was a bad knockout for him. Great to see David Price up on his feet. The fifth time he's been stopped inside the distance, but he gave everything, and his pride should remain well and truly intact. What a great appetizer. Another heavyweight battle. A seesaw, and it's Alexander Povetkin who gets win number 34, and he is mandatory for Joshua and Parker. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Howard Foster will bring together both boxers. As he does so, please show your appreciation for both these heavyweights in the ring. The official time, one minute, two seconds of round number five. Referee Mr. Foster dispenses with the count. The winner by technical count out. He is still the WBO International and now the WBA Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion from Russia, Alexander Sasha Poirier.